Thank you so much, Anna Marie, for your leadership today and every day. And for those I haven't yet had the pleasure to meet, either in person or virtually, I'm Steve Grossman, CEO of ICIC, the Initiative for a Competitive Inner City. I'd like to start today our final day of the 2021 annual conference by sharing boundless gratitude to our extraordinary team who are responsible for the last several days of learning, collaborating, networking, and growing so we can all emerge stronger. I'd like to once again thank our major sponsors. Without their support, this conference would not be possible. Chevron, FedEx, Edward Jones, Bank of America, Regions Bank, and PNC Bank. I'd also like to thank our other conference supporters, Appleton Partners, Arcteris Impact Investors, Bain Capital, Salesforce, Giroux Glass, Santander Bank, and Good Management Group. I'd also like to thank ICIC's Board of Directors for its stewardship throughout the year, and especially our board officers, Board Chair Ron Homer, ICIC Founder and Chair Emeritus, Dr. Michael Porter, Vice Chair and Treasurer Barry White, and Secretary Brenda McKenzie. I'd like to share my profound appreciation to the team of professionals comprised of ICIC staff and event partners who have gone way above and beyond to ensure that every aspect of this year's conference is a success. I'd like to start with the ICIC staff. Our entire team of more than 40 professionals had a hand in making this conference an engaging and rewarding experience for all participants. I'd like to send a special shout out to the working group that led the direction and execution of the annual conference every step of the way. Thanks to Liz Pugh, Marini Ponce, Mike Shore, Nadia Larasati, Beth Bresnahan, Julie Kent, and to the team that worked to curate and publish this year's impact report. Thanks again to Julie Kent, Beth Bresnahan, Callan Small, Maria Galino, Chris Scott, Danielle Anderson, and Diego Portillo Mazal. These ICIC teams worked in lockstep with our event partners, and I'd like to acknowledge their amazing work. First, One Visual Mind, Carol Maglita and Karen Beck, the masterminds who created and implemented the event design as well as the design of our impact report. Appreciation to Mode Studios. The Mode team, including Colleen Bonial, Carl Glabe, and Yutaka Kaneka. They led our conference content production, or in the business known as Run of Show. And thanks to White Knight Studios. Ellen Barton, the principal of White Knight Productions, and an alumna of both the 10,000 small businesses and ICCC programs. She and her team at White Knight are responsible for the production of our Inner City 100 Special Award videos, which you'll get to see later today, as well as the powerful stories of impact, which are included in this year's impact report. And thanks to Artists for Humanity, a Boston-based nonprofit they created the unique Inner City 100 Awards we'll present this evening. And thanks to Arsenal Productions, to Scott Poulin, our web developer who built the site pages that feature this year's Inner City 100 list and awardees. And to Bottle Tree Pictures, the production team that developed the video which showcases ICIC's new digital learning platform. As many of you know, ICSC was founded as a research organization. Our research agenda over the past 27 years has positioned our organization as the leading and most trusted resource on the economies of under-resourced communities. Our research team, led by Howard Weil, published several new reports this year. The New Anchors, which explores how for-profit companies can act as anchor institutions in smaller, lower-income cities. Thanks to the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation that funded this work and to the Kauffman Foundation, which funded Recession Recovery Tracker that analyzes how the coronavirus recession and recovery have affected businesses and jobs 
in the nation's 100 largest metropolitan areas. And our COVID-19 Economic Vulnerability Report, called Not the Great Equalizer, which we released in 2020 and is as relevant today as it was when we published it. This report and its accompanying interactive map show the vulnerability of every U.S. neighborhood to the economic impact of the COVID-19 crisis. I'd like to turn our attention to new ICIC initiatives underway. And I once again quote the artist Norman La Liberté, who said, and I quote, we're not here to do what has already been done. You may recall that I shared this inspiring quote on the first day of the conference, and it certainly applies to what we have underway and what is coming soon. First, our construction cluster initiative. Next spring, we're gearing up to launch a new tuition-free executive education program that aims to help BIPOC or minority-owned and woman-owned construction subcontractors build capacity and develop sustainable growth strategies that position their businesses to increase revenues and profits. There will be more to come on this exciting new initiative early in the new year. Next, our national Latinx-owned small business program. ICIC is deeply committed to help closing the existing opportunity gaps by connecting Latinx entrepreneurs with small business resources and promoting equitable outcomes that foster inclusive economic prosperity. In 2019, we began to offer interpreting services to support Spanish-speaking participants in our Inner City Capital Connections program. What began with a single cohort offering Spanish language translation services has grown to eight cohorts in cities across the country this year. In the coming year, we aim to further evolve our program with the launch of an ICIC cohort conducted entirely in Spanish that offers a curriculum and resources specifically curated to address the challenges facing Latinx business owners, featuring culturally competent professors and facilitators. And finally, digital learning. The customized self-paced digital learning platform for ICCC participants that we created in partnership with Extension Engine, the software developer that built Harvard Business School Online, Harvard Business School's digital education initiative. We offered it to participants in this year's ICCC cohorts, and we're so excited to share a video with you about the platform and how it can serve your needs. The Initiative for a Competitive Inner City is dedicated to advancing inclusive economic prosperity in under-resourced communities through innovative research and tuition-free programs that support small business growth and job creation. We are continuously exploring ways to further our mission and best support the evolving needs of the entrepreneurs that we serve in the communities in which their businesses are located. In January 2020, we identified an opportunity to extend the geographical reach and deepen the learning experience for a signature program, Inner City Capital Connections, or ICCC for short, by leveraging online learning tools. The cancellation of in-person events brought on by the pandemic only increased the urgency of expanding and improving our digital offerings to further engage and better equip you our community of small business owners with resources, tools, and strategies for sustainable growth and resilience. In partnership with Extension Engine, the software developer that built HBS Online, or Harvard Business School's digital education initiative, we created a customized, self-paced digital learning platform for ICCC participants. The platform, which launched in spring 2021, serves to deepen the program's lessons by putting learning into practice through interactive online exercises, immersive case studies, and engaging discussion forums that create unique opportunities for networking and peer learning between like-minded small business owners from across the United States and Canada. Let's show you how our digital learning platform works. Our digital learning courses, content, and activities are offered within four distinct learning modules that complement the pillars of ICCC's program curriculum. These include strategy, marketing, finance, and talent management and leadership. 
The platform innovation enables us to create individualized learning paths that are tailored to each participant's level of knowledge and specific business needs, and help track progress of learning through each module completed. In each of these paths, you will apply the lessons learned in ICCC's opening seminar to produce action plans that can be integrated into your operations to position your business for future growth. We know that as a small business owner, you're incredibly busy and your time is valuable. So we designed our digital platform to be easy to access and easy to use as well as flexible. It's a web-based platform so you can access learning modules whenever and wherever it is most convenient for you to log on and engage at a pace that works within your schedule. Are you ready to deepen your learning experience in the ICCC program? Further develop your strategy and take your business to the next level of growth? Great, let's connect. Send us an email at digitallearning at icic.org to begin your transformational learning experience. ICIC's digital learning team is available in the Business Growth Marketplace to share more information about this exciting new resource. If you were with us for day one of the conference, I'm sure you saw some of the Stories of Impact videos that played during the breaks. Each of these five videos feature ICIC program alumni and share stories about how these resilient entrepreneurs have navigated the past 21 months of unprecedented challenges by adapting or pivoting their business strategies and are emerging in a position of strength thanks to the resources and tools they had access to. These stories of impact videos are just one component of ICIC's 2021 Impact Report, which can be accessed in its entirety on the homepage of this conference platform. Don't miss it. The report's theme, like this conference, is Emerge Stronger. In addition to the videos, there are five more written stories of impact, snapshot reporting of the activities and initiatives undertaken by each of our urban business initiatives, as well as our programs and our research. It also provides insight into ICIC's reach and, of course, our impact. In 2021, ICIC reached a record number of 3,002 small businesses participating in our programs throughout the year. That's 20% more than our previous record of 2,500 served just last year. Of those 3,002 small businesses, 67% are BIPOC owned and 59% are woman owned. Last year's stats were 58% BIPOC owned and 57% woman-owned, respectively. Participants hail from more than 800 cities across 54 states. Now, you may be wondering where that number comes from, 54 states. Well, it includes Puerto Rico and five Canadian provinces. And there are more stats and insights in the impact report. If you haven't yet had the opportunity to view it, I strongly encourage you to visit the link on the event homepage to learn more about ICIC's impact in 2021. And now, to get our second day of programming started, I'm proud to pass the mic back to our host, Anna Marie Cruz. Anna Marie, take it away.